When we observe the world, scale is everything. In order to understand what we're really seeing, we may have to move in to look more closely, or back out to see the big picture. This is especially true for physicists. We study structures that are as large as the universe itself, and as small as the particles that make up protons and neutrons. And as physicists, we often have to move between scales, or find the scale that's best suited to what we're observing. Let's begin with a look at the scale of quarks inside a single proton. As small as they are, we can collide these quarks together to probe even shorter distance scales. At these extremely small scales, we can test for quantum fluctuations induced by the appearance of new particles. When these new particles decay, we have to move back out to describe what's happening at longer distance scales. Here, quarks and gluons are observed as sprays of radiation, called jets. To create the best description of these collisions, we need a tool to connect the physics at multiple scales. We need an effective field theory. Connecting the physics at different scales is also important in areas other than particle physics, from atomic structures all the way up to astronomical distance scales involved in the merger between two neutron stars. Effective field theories take the most fundamental aspects of quantum field theory, such as symmetry breaking and building connections between momentum scales, and use them to design the simplest framework that captures the key aspects of the physics you want to study. In this course, EFTX, I'll teach you the fundamentals of effective field theory. Not only how to use some of the most popular and well-studied effective theories, but also how to think like an effective field theorist, so you can design your own effective field theory. After taking this course, you'll see that effective field theory provides you with tools to rigorously connect physics at different length scales, and is often the most efficient method for carrying out calculations. I expect you'll find that EFT will allow you to bridge gaps and find new symmetries or new dynamics, and to discover surprises about the physics that happens at different length scales. So I hope you'll join me for an exploration of physics with effective field theory in EFTX.